Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. As you can tell from the title of the video, Rolling Solo is doing an unbroken Kickstarter edition giveaway on the channel here. All you have to be is a subscriber of the channel. You just have to check out the link in the description below and you'll find a way to jump right to the giveaway. So if you've been doing giveaways here at Rolling Solo from the get-go, then this will be a really easy process for you. Uh, if this is your first time here on the channel, it's easy, it really is. Uh, it only requires that you're a subscriber and everything else that you may or may not want to do in terms of uh, gaining additional entries is completely up to you and only will increase your odds if you so choose to do. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about Unbroken in terms of what this game is and also where it is and where you can find it. So in the description below, not only will you find the link to the giveaway where you can get in on it, but also the link to the Kickstarter, like I said, that is currently ongoing. Uh, this Kickstarter is going until April 25th. So what we're going to be doing Doing with this particular giveaway is I'm going to be actually posting this one as of the 28th of March and from the 28th of March we're actually going to be going until April no 29th to the 12th of April so it's going to be a little bit of a uh, shorter window than much of you are maybe used to here uh, we typically do a few weeks for a giveaway to get everybody a chance to get in but the main reason I'm doing this on uh, a two-week uh, turnaround is uh, mainly because of the Kickstarter and also to allow whoever ends up winning the Kickstarter to know in advance of the Kickstarter ending so what I really want is I want uh, everyone that's already interested in the game to continue to support the game on Kickstarter if you are looking to pick this one up. Um, but if you happen to be the lucky winner, because there will be only one person selected for this giveaway, then you can go in and modify your pledge as applicable if you happen to be the one that wins. I don't want anyone on the channel to hold off until the last bit and then potentially miss out. If you really wanted this game, be sure to back it so that you don't uh, miss out on it. But if you happen to end up being the one that wins, that's even better that's fantastic you're getting a free game and there's nothing wrong with that so uh what i want to say in terms of unbroken where it is on kickstarter right now is this one actually uh well it was cool for a number of reasons number one uh the kickstarter itself or this particular game is based out of toronto canada that's what pops up so it's actually in canadian currency which is nice to see every now and then seeing as most games that i'm uh, used to checking out are in uh, usd so or united states currency so uh we right now it's actually at eighty-seven thousand canadian and there's uh, 2,468 backers, and uh, there's still 27 days to go. So that's a substantially good start uh, for this Kickstarter, especially being that the goal to produce this thing was only 14,000. So I can tell you right now, whoever wins this giveaway, you will definitely be receiving your game because they have far past uh, um, their goal in order to just create the game itself. And now at this point, they're really ripping through stretch goals at quite a furious pace, especially when it comes to monsters. And you'll see this if you check out my playthrough. I do have a playthrough on the channel. It took about an hour and a little bit more than an hour or so to re record it in real time. Uh, and one of the reasons why I did that was I wanted to give you guys a real true feeling of how the game is played without any kind of infomercial style look to the game. I want you to see it uh, in action. Now you also have to realize that while filming and of course talking through my thoughts, that increases how long the game takes to play. If you're playing this game solo, and that's what this game is all about, it's simply a solo game you cannot play it any other way uh, the interesting thing with that is you're obviously if you're not on camera like I am when you're playing it it won't take you an hour the game runs 20 to 30 minutes it's very quick it's also very compact as you can see even the prototype box here which will all of this content here will of course change based on the Kickstarter and probably already has based on what I've seen even some of the monsters have started to reveal um, but anyway, in terms of the size of the box and things like that, it's a very compact game, a great game to bring with you uh, when you're traveling. Also, just not going to take up that much shelf space. Uh, and it also has a quick setup time and a quick play time. And, and to be honest, like most board games, the box will typically say, you know, this one says 20 to 30 minutes on the prototype. Uh, that's when, in my opinion, that of course is when you're familiar with the game. So once you have the rules down, uh, then you can go ahead and you're kind of ripping through a little quicker. Another mention for my video, I do have a rules overview for this in a setup video. So if you're unsure of how to get this game to the table, whether you're playing maybe a print and play, or you potentially have a prototype, uh, pro uh, prototype I should say, a prototype. That's an interesting thing. Um, but if you happen to have either of those, um, then, you know, 
Hopefully that will help you out. And of course, when the game actually delivers, hopefully the setup will help you get the game to the table quicker. And that's never a bad thing. But I can tell you right now, the setup for this thing is really not that bad. Now in my playthrough, we went ahead and we did the brawler. It was fantastic. We made it to the last level. I probably should have died at level two because of how poorly things were going for me. Um, as I saw a number of the people that are playing through this game and some of them had better starts than I did, much better. Uh, we, I don't know how I got past level two and three in my playthrough. It was ridiculous. I literally thought I was going to die within the first couple levels based on how poorly things were panning out for me uh, but I managed to just squeak the next level a couple times and I got all the way to the fourth one and I thought I was going to pull it out uh, just barely it wouldn't have been a high scoring win that's for sure but it was so much fun and it challenged me to the point that I wanted to come back and play it some more now I had played it a number of times off camera before that playthrough recorded and the ironic thing was I did so much better on the playthroughs that weren't on camera and then when I filmed that particular playthrough I basically dive bombed <laughs> I made it through, made it to the end, but certainly didn't do as good as I, I did off camera. Uh, but that's kind of the nature of the game, and that's what's so cool about it, and also helps you understand how balanced it is. Um, that you can go into it one time thinking like, all right, I've got a general idea of how I can beat this. And then you realize really quickly that the not only the monsters, the encounters, your, your choice of character, your choice in terms of how you're going to do your resource management with your general actions, all this stuff ties in so well that the game never feels um, mechanically the same. Same. Or I should say mechanically it feels the same, of course, but it doesn't feel the same the same outcome when you grab the same character. Like I played the brawler, for instance, I think two or three times before I switched characters. In the end, I, I liked the brawler the most, so I went with it. But I also played uh, the sage and the huntress, and even one time with the sneak. But I think I played twice with the huntress. And so I played this a number of times, um, and... I did so much better off camera with the brawler when I did it, but then uh, we went on camera and things did not go as well as I thought. Uh, but hey, it was still so much fun. So when this thing actually gets produced and stuff like that, I'm going to have so much fun unboxing this for you guys. Uh, we'll go through it. We'll check it out. We'll see the changes. Uh, if we have to make any corrections to the rules and setup, we'll do that as well. Uh, but anyway, this whole video is to say I want to thank all of you guys for being there on the channel 24-7. Uh, your guys' feedback on the channel has always been amazing. Your help throughout all the playthroughs has been phenomenal and this is my way of saying thank you and so I'm giving this back to you guys and I really uh, wish somebody all the luck here because one individual will be walking away with a Kickstarter edition of Unbroken completely free. Now if you are one of those people who have not heard anything about this game and you don't even know what I'm talking about um, you know you didn't see my playthrough you never saw my rules overview or setup or you maybe haven't even seen it on Kickstarter uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of you know the brief description description of what Unbroken is all about. Um, so Unbroken is, uh, a, you're basically testing your survival skills in a dark fantasy world of Unbroken. Uh, you are the only one left alive after your group was ambushed by monsters and now you must avenge your friends and reclaim your freedom. It's quick to learn, easy to set up, and playable in a brief 20 to 30 as I mentioned. The game will challenge you to, you to make the right decisions or fall victim, as I did in level 4, to the many dangers of monster infested caverns. You want to plan wisely and take calculated risks. You do not have much and you must use every resource at your disposal to prevail. Now this is one of the biggest things about the game I loved. There really was a press your luck element in here that I really enjoyed. For such a short game that doesn't have a super long drawn out uh, story, you really have so many opportunities going along here when you're doing your time, when you're going up against a monster, when you have a certain number of effort, things like that. You are trying to make, you're kind of gambling in a way. In certain mechanics you're gambling that the turnaround or the turnout of what you choose to do is going to be productive and sometimes it just isn't you're going to burn some time hoping that an encounter is going to be productive for you and it just isn't uh, so it's a real it can be a real big nail biter by the end of it and that's something i really like the tension's always there you're always wondering you know one level you're thinking hey i'm ahead of the game and the next level you're like i'm behind i'm way behind um so it says your character gets better with experience, of course, and so you will also uh, gain rewards and skills as you go along. So of course you're leveling your character up and you're obviously not just going to be stuck to your character abilities. Those will also increase and get better as, as time goes on. Now I want to talk a little bit about the actual giveaway and the, the time frames here. So basically as of this recording right now, which I'm recording on the 28th and I should be releasing this on the 28th, the Kickstarter, or it's not the Kickstarter, the giveaway will be live the moment this video hits. So you guys can check that description link below in order to get in on it right now. Um, also, this giveaway will last two weeks from today. So basically that's around April 12th, I believe it'll end. Um, from the, so yeah, about two weeks. 
So it's going to end then, and the reason for that is because the actual Kickstarter itself ends on the 25th for Unbroken, and I really want to give some time to be able to announce the winner. So everyone that's already interested in Unbroken, if you have already made your decision, uh, be sure to obviously pledge uh, for the Kickstarter if that's what you're looking to do, because that's what you want to support. Um, you don't want to wait until the last gong to hear whether or not you potentially won here, and then rush back to try to get on the Kickstarter and potentially miss out. So that's why I'm trying to do a quick turnaround with this uh, giveaway, a little bit shorter than normal two weeks is kind of tight so if you uh, can share this or among yourselves in order to make sure that everybody that's a subscriber for the channel actually hears about it um, and spread the word then that would be a good thing because typically my giveaways are much longer than this and gives everybody a chance to get in uh, this one's going to be a little bit tighter of a window so uh, anyway that's pretty much it so again all you have to be to get in this uh, giveaway is a subscriber of the channel that is it and you get your name thrown in and one lucky winner is going to be walking away with a free copy of Unbroken. Want to make quick mention of two other giveaways on the channel just before we wrap this up. So one is Maximum Apocalypse. Uh, this one is a Kickstarter that's currently ongoing right now for an expansion for the game, but the giveaway I'm doing is for the base game or a Kickstarter copy of the base game. So it's a fantastic one. I have playthroughs on the channel of it as well. The other one is Hexplore It and currently is also on Kickstarter for another reprint as well as an extra expansion. So that one I'm going to be pulling two lucky winners for. Uh, so so again, all of the links for all of these giveaways will be in the description below, so be sure not to miss out on any of them. So I'm super excited for this. I want to see this thing produced. I also want to see the final version of this thing. And I think it's going to fit a wonderful filler gap for a solo game in my collection that I do not currently have. And so I'm looking forward to it. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and again, as always, keep on rolling solo. Rolling solo.